Well, hi there. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, because I've been noticing I'm getting a lot of new viewers, a lot of people who either haven't seen my channel before or just new subscribers in general. So let me introduce myself. My name is Chad. I collect dolls and I show them to people on the internet. <laughs> anyway, today I have some really fun dolls. I'm actually um, really happy about getting these. Um, they are Frozen dolls, and not Frozen as in like a popsicle. I'm talking about Frozen, the movie Frozen. <laughs> I've got Anna and Elsa here from the Disney store, or more specifically from shopdisney.com, and they are the hair play dolls. And any of my returning viewers know that I am absolutely a hair person. I love doll hair. I love playing with it. That's one of the main reasons why I like dolls is their hair. So any doll that has like super long hair is okay by me. That's why I like Rapunzel is one of my, fa my favorites. <laughs> so um, anyway, so this set, I don't know if it's a set or it's just a special release for each character, um, but there is um, two dolls. One is Anna and one is Elsa, obviously. And um, I didn't see any other characters that had this. So I think it's specific for Frozen um, and it doesn't really say, yeah, there's like no set name or anything like that. Um, it literally just says from the movie Frozen. So here is Anna, and although I actually, I do have an Anna and an Elsa doll already. They are just like the classic Disney store dolls, and I got them back like maybe like a year after the first movie came out. Um, but anyway, I don't own an Anna doll in her coronation dress, and this one has a giant ponytail. So, and I, I love her coronation dress. I think that it's so pretty. So I'm really happy about that. I, I like the fact that they chose that. I'm surprised they didn't do Frozen 2. The picture on the box is from Frozen 2. Is that the same for both? Yeah, the picture on the box is from Frozen 2. But it says it's from Frozen. It doesn't say Frozen 2, it says Frozen. So um, anyway, so here is Elsa. She is in her Let It Go blue dress. I really, really wish that this would have come in that like white, like purple iridescent, whatever it is, that white dress that she has at the end of um, Frozen 2, because that was my favorite. It's like the, hold on, my hair is going crazy. But anyway, it's the, the dress that she has. It's like the Frozen 2 equivalent to this dress, because this one she gets while she's singing Let It Go, and she transforms from her like coronation dress that she has, that black and green and, and uh, magenta color thing um, into this blue dress and then um, in Frozen 2 she kind of has a similar transformation but it's this beautiful white like iridescent sparkly thing with like the two separate capes in the back and everything I wish that it had that dress because I love that dress and I already have an Elsa in this dress um, I would love to have an Elsa in that other dress so I don't know if I want to get another Elsa doll though like can I justify that? I don't know, whatever, maybe I will. Maybe I'll see if I can get, like if somebody's selling just the dress on eBay or something like that and switch it out and like put this doll in that dress because she has the really, really long hair and I really like the long hair. Um, so anyway, they come with a whole bunch of accessories and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you all of that after I get them out of the box. Um, so let me just quickly show you the back of the box. It does have a picture of each of them. It just has a picture of the doll with all of the accessories and everything. So like you can see it comes with some like hair clips, a hair band, some hair extensions, I guess, if you want to call them that, um, a brush, uh, oh, little clips and stuff like that, and like some glitter. And what else is there? Oh, it just, oh, that's the glitter and it just kind of shows you what the glitter looks like here. So it comes with a pouch with glitter and that's hers is pink iridescent. Um, and then you can see all the stuff. Here's her pouch of glitter and then all of the accessories and stuff you can see here. And then this is her little pouch here and it's going to be like a blue iridescent for her. So let me get them out of the box and get all of the accessories and stuff. Everything's strapped in here pretty good. So it's probably going to take me a minute. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so here they are out of the box and they have a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to quickly show you each doll one at a time and then I will show you their accessories and everything. So here is Elsa. I almost called her on. I got to remember the names, but let me see if I can get my camera to focus. 
I'm always fighting with it. Oh, there we go, kind of. Anyway, so she has the Frozen 2 face mold. So she has the newer Elsa face mold, which I prefer. I actually really like the way that she looks. I think she's super pretty. It's very movie accurate. I like the skin tone a little better because the original dolls have kind of like this pinkish kind of skin tone. I think it was trying to like make her look a little bit more pale or like more of like a blue icy undertone. But um, I think that this looks more, a little more human. Um, but anyway, so um, yeah, so she's super pretty. Uh, she comes with a blue headband. Um, this is her dress. It's basically the same dress that most Elsa dolls come in anyway. Um, and then she has super, super long hair. Um, it's done up in a braid. It's literally her normal hairstyle, except it's just super long. And it comes down, and it's very, very gelled at the bottom. Um, now, the quality of the hair, it's okay. It's not terrible. Um, it's Disney Store doll quality. Um, I would say, like, with the exception of Ariel, most Disney Store dolls have this, like, kind of mid-range for... I think it's nylon hair. I'm not 100% on that, but it feels like nylon because it feels very plasticky, but it's smooth, um, but it's not the highest quality. Um, I mean, I think the fact that it's super long does save it because uh, it does make it, you know, give it some weight and movement. So anyway, um, that aside, she comes with some accessories. So here is her little glitter pouch, which I haven't decided yet if I'm going to test this out and show you what it looks like or not. But um, she comes with these three little hair clips. Um, honestly, they're, they're literally just little hair clips. They're little snowflakes with iridescent blue coloring. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna bother with them. I think they're really cute. They come on this little snowflake thing. Um, th she comes with this like hair wrap thing. Um, and this literally just kind of wraps around the hair like this. Oh, it's getting caught. Oh no, I'm messing it up. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it just kind of like fits around her hair like that and she comes with these two little hair clip accessories they're little hair extensions or whatever they do have tinsel in them and um they're the same exact snowflakes as these except in a different blue color like these are more of like an aqua blue and this is more of like a true blue wait arendell aqua <laughs> i really want those ears from disneyland the arendelle aqua ones it's like my favorite color so anyway i don't think i'm gonna be like necessarily putting them in her hair but i mean you could if you want to <laughs> like whatever um you know to kind of give her that like or you could put them in your own hair you know that oh <laughs> there you go what do you think is it me <laughs> oh whatever okay <laughs> let me just take these out here um so and then she also oh, i'm dropping things she also comes with a brush so and this brush is kind of cool i don't know if it'll pick it up here but there's some really pretty molded details on the back of the brush and it's just the same kind of like designs that you see in all the wallpaper and their dresses and stuff like that it's really pretty and hers is like a light blue the other thing that i want to show you is her shoes and for this i'm zooming in look at her shoes Oh my gosh. I think this is one of the first times that I, at least in person, have seen any Elsa doll with movie accurate shoes. These beautiful like snowflake ice pumps that she gives herself in the movie. These are my favorite Elsa shoes that I think I've ever seen on any Elsa doll. And I love it. And she's got like the rubber, like bend and snap knees. So um, with the pointed toes, so she's able to wear high heels. But Oh, I love that. Next up is Anna. And I have to say, right off the bat, I think that she is probably my favorite. I think she is super pretty. I love the fact that her hair is just like a ponytail with these bangs, with this cute little fringe here. I'm probably going to restyle her hair because the ponytail is kind of loose. So I kind of want to give her a, um, like a higher, high ponytail. Um, so I'm not sure. Anyway, her hair is kind of like loose and just a normal ponytail, but the ends of it are very, very gelled. So like each one is a separate individual like chunk of hair. I like that. So um, actually, I'm not sure if I want to restyle the hair now because I don't want to mess that up. But anyway, so I just think she is so pretty. First of all, I think that she's just very pretty. Um, second of all, I love her coronation dress. I think that this is very pretty, which is why I wanted a doll in this. It, both of these dolls are completely covered in glitter, 
which is not my favorite thing because it gets everywhere, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, the detailing on this dress is nice. It's not um, like the highest quality for the dresses that I've seen for dolls, but it's definitely not the lowest. So it's definitely nice. It's like an, an acceptable range, but she does, she also has her necklace here. Hold on, let me zoom in on this necklace so you can see. See, she has her necklace there. It's really pretty. This like molded medallion or whatever it is with a black ribbon for the necklace part. And then she just has some very simple black flats. I don't remember what shoes she wore in the movie for the coronation scene, but, um, you know, these, these work. You don't really see her feet too much. Oh, I zoomed out too far. There we go. Um, anyway, so you don't really see her feet too much, so I can't say for sure if this is like movie accurate or not. But uh, anyway, yeah, I definitely love this. Um, part of the reason why I think she's my favorite is because her hair is all one length. Unlike Elsa, <laughs> they always give her a mullet. Like the, the hair in the front is always cut super short like this. And then like, you know, it's like super short to create that, that weird windblown style that she has. And then all the rest of her hair is one length. And I don't want to cut the rest of the hair to give it like more of a consistent layered look. So it looks more even. I don't want to do that. I just wish that like the parts on the sides, I wish that they were all the long length as well. But anyway, I mean, it is what it is. All right, so talking about Anna's accessories, we've got three different hair clips here. Um, you've got like a sunflower, um, this, what is this? Like this, it almost looks like a little lotus flower or something. And then this like daisy, which um, kind of makes me, or these two make me think of like the spring unsprung little movie short. Um, two of them are like little berets, but this daisy, this is kind of cute. It's like a comb. And usually the, the, uh, Mulan is the one that gets the little comb accessories, but these are kind of cool because they just kind of go in the hair like that. And I like that. I think that more dolls need to come with a little comb accessory like that because it's so easy to put in and take out. And I mean, like, yeah, it can come out easy, but it's not going to fall out. Like, you know, I put that in, it's not going anywhere, you know? And I think that that's really pretty. So I like that. So she also comes with two hair extensions, accessories, whatever you want to call these. Uh, she's got like a strand of white hair with uh, the tinsel and that has a snowflake for the clip that goes in. So it's kind of like you can give her that white streak of hair that she has from the first movie because she actually doesn't have any white hair rooted. Um, so this is a way that you can add that. And then she also comes with um, this little piece of like the hair is her actual color of hair, um, but it is braided or like twisted. So, oh, and th this one's not a snowflake. This one's like a little flower. So her thing is definitely flowers. I'm actually gonna give her a little braid up here, just cause this one is actually her hair color. It won't look too terribly out of place. There you go. She also comes with a brush. Hers is this like, kind of like antique gold color, I think. I don't know how to describe it, but it has the same um, molded detail uh, on the back of the brush. And she also comes with some glitter. Um, hers is more of like a white kind of pink iridescent kind of color. Oh, and then last but not, I totally forgot about this. She comes with this like ribbon thing. Um, and then this kind of reminds me of, um, there was another doll and I don't remember if it was Spring Unsprung or if it was just like the collector doll in this same outfit, in the coronation outfit. Um, but she also had really long hair and she had one of these with all the ribbons in it and it had the same kind of clip, which kind of looks like the little lotus. But I'm just going to put this in her hair because I like this little detail, this little accessory. I'm going to put it above her ponytail though. If I can get it through without really messing up the hair. There we go. So I put it just above the ponytail there. So I actually, I actually kind of like that. I might leave that. Um, and I like this white flower in her hair. I might leave that too. I don't know about this little twisty thing. I might take that out eventually. All right. So I don't know if I want to do the glitter because if I use the glitter, I'm going to have to wash it out and I don't want to wash out the hair gel because I really like the way that the hair is styled. Should I do a glitter beard? I don't think I've ever done a glitter beard, but this is literally made to do a glitter beard. Or I mean, it's, it's, it's made to go in hair. So, and it doesn't say to not use it on facial hair anywhere. Does it? Let me read the instructions. Hold on. It does not specifically say to not use it on facial hair. So I think I'm going to do a glitter beard. Okay. How do you open this? 
Do you just twist? Oh, you just twist it. And it comes off. Okay, so there's that. And then you just squeeze it out. I guess you do. You know, I think I'm gonna, what I'll do is I'll do this right here on my little silver spot and then the, the blue I'll do like on the darker. How do I, how should I do this? I don't know, hold on, I got a mirror. How, ooh, there we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna like apply it directly. Oh, I regret it already. <laughs> oh, don't fall, don't fall, please don't fall. Oh, it's sparkly, oh, it's so pretty. Oh my god, this is so hard to do with my left hand. Hold on, let me see if I can get this glitter on with the right hand. Oh, that's so cool. A little bit right. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh god, it's falling. Okay, well, now I think I've got glitter on my shirt somewhere. Here's the blue one. Ah, oh, there it goes. Okay, hold on. Should I do it, like, all over? I, I guess I'm doing it all over. I don't know if you can tell a difference in the color, but... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's everywhere! <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get this off. Oh, okay. Oh, I regret everything. <laughs> I have a paper towel here. Oh god. This is, oh, it's falling. Oh, it's getting everywhere. <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? Okay, well, whatever. There's no fighting it at this point, but... <laughs> So what do you think? <laughs> oh, I've never done a glitter beard before. This is fun. <laughs> it's literally falling and getting all over my shirt. Look, <laughs> it's getting everywhere. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. <laughs> I had fun doing this. I mean, yes, it created a mess, which I'm now gonna have to clean up, um, but it was still fun. Uh, and I actually really like these dolls. I love the quality of the Disney Store dolls. Um, I think that they are really good, especially with the amount of articulation that they come for the price, which by the way, I don't think I said the price. These dolls ended up being $25 in the US, $24.99 or $34.99 in Canada. And I think that's just because of the hair play feature. Um, they have a lot more hair than the dolls normally have, um, plus all of the accessories and stuff that they come with. Um, you know, for that price, like, I think it's an okay price, you know, because it's a doll with a gimmick, um, you know, and that little extra with the ex extra accessories and the glitter and all the extra little hair accessories and stuff like that. You know, I think that that definitely kind of justifies the price in a way. Um, normally, the classic dolls are around $17, and um, some of the newer dolls, like the Raya dolls, are $19.99 or $20. So that extra few dollars in there, you know, pays for all the extra stuff that you get. So, I, you know, I think that this is definitely... If you already have an Elsa and an Anna doll, as a collector, you may not necessarily need it, unless if you want it, like if you want the dolls to have longer hair. Um, but these definitely are a fun hair play doll for anybody to enjoy, you know, playing with the, the clips. If you are into hair play, I definitely recommend them. Uh, well, I recommend them for anybody who's into hair play. So if you want to get these, you know, as a gift for somebody, for like a kid or somebody who, you know, likes to play with doll hair, they're definitely going to be a great option, especially if they're a fan of Frozen. Anyway, I'm going to get going because I need to wash all this out. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching. Also, this week there's going to be two videos because next month I'm going to do my first ever themed month. It's going to be My Little Pony March Madness. Next month I am going to do nothing but My Little Pony videos. Um, I've got some vintage My Little Ponies. I've got some recreation like G1s, G threes. Um, and then I've got some more recent things, like some newer stuff that I want to show you guys as well. So each video for the month of March will be My Little Pony. If you want to check that out, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get a notification every time I upload. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload. I post new videos every week Wednesday, except for when I don't and I post them on Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.